Welcome to the IM2 review sheet for Unit 7. Yeah, Chapter 7, Unit 7. Uh, here we are doing page 2, which is the proportion word problems. We're covering 5, 6, 7, and 8 here. So let's go over this. So the two triangles that we have here look something like this. So it looks something like this. Let me just flip this. It looks like this. Okay, here's the big one. And the first big one, we had H here and 26 feet here. This was the lamp post. This is like the fire hydrant, but smaller. Do you see how it's smaller? So we put the value here of 2.5 over five All right so let's set this up h was your height so h is the height of the lamp um, 2.5 is the height of the fire hydrant the 2.6 was the lamp shadow so the five is going to be the fire hydrant's shadow. So you can set up the proportion any way you want. Here I'm going to go. I'm going to go H over. Let me color code it for you here. All right, give me a second to just adjust this. So the ratio that I'm going to set up here is going to be um, fire hydrant height, H. Divide this by the lamps, uh, height of the lamp divided by the height of the shadow, the lamp shadow, 26. That's going to be equal to hydrants, 2.5. And divide this by the shadow of the hydrant, which is 5. Now I can cross multiply. So five times H is equal to 2.5 times 26. I can simplify. This becomes five H is equal to, I do 2.5 times 26. That gets me 65. To get H alone, I divide by five to both sides. I get H is equal to 13. And the unit here is feet. So the height here is 13 feet. That is the height of the lamp so I can label it for you 13 feet is the height of the lamp let's do number six how high is the tree uh, how tall is the tree again this behaves like two triangles okay the first triangle can be the um, dog shadow and the dog's um, height so this is the dog's height 0 0.45 this is dog height then you have 0 0.3 as the dog shadow the tree is slightly bigger so I grab this image paste Move it over, scale this up, right? This was the tree. The tree height, we don't know. So I put that as H. So this is tree height. And we saw that a shadow, it's its base, which is 2.2. .2. This is the tree shadow, all right? So this is good that we were able to set up the ratio from this so now we could set up the proportion to solve for it the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna go over I'm gonna do dog height so 0 0.45 I'm gonna divide this by the sh dog shadow 0 0.3 set this equal to the height of the tree H 
divide this by the tree shadow, 2.2. Cross multiply. So 0 0.45 times 2.2 .2 equals to H times 0 0.3. Okay. Plug this into the calculator. 0 0.45 times 2.2. .2, that gets you 0 0.99 is equal to um, 0 0.3H. Divide both sides by 0 0.3. I get me H is equal to 3.3. It doesn't look right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check, okay? So I'm going to check this. So I'm going to check. So my left ratio was 0 0.45 divided by 0 0.3. That's going to be equal to 1.5. Now I'm gonna do my right ratio. That is height was 3.3. .3. Divide this by 2.2. 3.3 .3 divided by 2.2. .2. Yep, that gets me 1.5. The fact that they match up, I could say that my height is correct. So my height of the tree is 3.3 .3 and it is in meters, so 3.3 .3 meters. Good. Number seven, how deep is the 62 meter from the shore? This is a compound figure. That means the triangles are within each other. So and now we have to um, split them apart. The triangles look like this. Nope, let me flip it. Nope, let's flip this again. Yep, it looks like that. So the first small triangle that we have is three and three and this is five. Then we have the larger triangle. So let me make this larger. Okay. And that was your 62 and letter D. Okay. Move this over. Okay. Now we could set up the ratio. All right. So um, I'm just going to color code this to save us some time. So the three here, okay, I'm going to make that three here red because that's like probably just going to be the height of the water. So now I'm going to make this blue. So this is three. This, so the 62 is the complete, right? 62 is the complete. So uh, um, uh, I can make this 62. And then the other one is um, five, so I can make this. Oh, sorry. So this should be blue, sixty-two. Okay. And then the five is gonna be red. Okay, I'm just color coding it, so we can um, set up the ratio accordingly. All right. So the three is how deep the water is when it's at five meters and 62 is in blue. That's how far out you are. And the D stands for the depth. Okay, so we could set up the ratio. It would be if you go out three feet, right? Three feet, the water is gonna be divided by how deep is it? It's gonna be deep by five feet. That's gonna be equal to if you go out 62 feet, that's going to be divided by how deep you are, which is we don't know, which is going to be letter D. Here you could cross multiply. 3 times D is equal to 5 times 62. Once you have this, you can simplify. This becomes 3D is equal to 5 times 62 is 310. Divide 3 to both sides. You get D equals to... 103 approximately 1.3.333 okay i don't believe you so i'm going to check the ratio so left ratio was the three over five three over five breaks down into 0 0.6 the right ratio 
is 62 divided by D, which is 103.33. This also gets me 0 0.6. So I did it correct. Good job. Let's do 8 here. Uh, Juan is 1.8 meters. Uh, Juan, who is 1.8 meters tall, can see the top of the Eiffel Tower reflected on a mirror right here when he stands 2.7 feet meters away. The Eiffel Tower is 150 meters away from the mirror. What is the height of the Eiffel Tower in this situation? So there are two triangles here. The small, let's do the smaller one first. And this is by the person. So let me flip this. Yep. So the person. The person here is 1.8 meters tall and they are 2.75 meters away. Let me color code this. So the person is 1.8 feet tall. They're gonna be 2.75 meters away. This is gonna be the same thing as the uh, ratio of the Eiffel Tower and its um, so let me scale this up a little bit more. Come on. Thank you. All right. So this is the perfect. Good. This is the Eiffel Tower now. So the Eiffel Tower, we don't know its height. This is the height of the Eiffel Tower. We do not know how high it is, but we know it's 500 feet away. So we can set up the ratio here. So the height of the person, which is 1.8, we're gonna divide this over by the ratio of the how far they are from the mirror, 2.7. This is gonna be equal to the height of the person, eight, the height of the tower, H. And you're gonna divide this by how far the Eiffel Tower is away, 500. Cross multiply, it's gonna be 500 times 1.8 is equal to H times 2.75 okay 500 times 1.8 let's get you 900 this is equal to 2.75 h divide both sides by 2.75 divide by 2.75 what is your h equal to 900 divided by 2.75 this gets you roughly 3.27 0.27 right. I don't believe you so we're gonna check so the left ratio was 1.8 over left ratio was 1.8 divided by 2.75 1.8 divided by 2.75 that gets you 0 0.6545 the right ratio is h which is three two seven point two seven divide this by five hundred let's see if that matches three two seven point two seven divided by five hundred yep that matches this gets you zero point six five four five yep so those match so we did it correctly good and that's it okay like before we set up the ratio cross multiply and we can just check the ratios by plugging the values in. They should match, okay? So there you go. That is all from page uh, two. Number five, number six, number seven, and number eight.